Eek, Mother's Day, wonderful. <laughs> and down uh, my favourite place. And, uh, well, I don't know. <laughs> I just think we're getting to the point that signage is becoming offensive. And it's, hmm, I guess, all part of the control. <clears throat> and can't, can't park here just to come and have a walk, I don't think. Not sure. Pink some blues in the sky. Sky blue pink, my dad's favourite colour. I think mine too, I love it. But, very high tide today. Not sure that I've seen it quite this high. But, uh, there we go. So I'm going to share some poems for Mother's Day. Um, about the the mother love and the importance of the mother love and how actually we mothers have a right to be mother to our children and uh, that human right I think I need to find out if there is one and uh, it seems to be falling short as mothers are having to put their children into nurseries very young and um, be back to work full time and as our children are presenting more and more signs of anxiety and uh, we perhaps need to to look at that and I really do think that uh, if family can be the natural family can be respected and supported and recognised as the best social structure for mental health and well-being, then um, perhaps a lot of problems in, in our world would, would uh, disappear. Um, yeah, so I'm going to read to you. First of all, I'll go with Dilemma. And, um, and then Happy Mother's Day and if I've got time partition so these are from a scroll I took up to London fairly, fairly recently um, to do with Save Our Children as well and to uh, end child abuse and child trafficking and the horrors that seem to be being brought to light so to speak um, and uh, people speaking about horrific abuse that goes on and it needs to be criminalised and brought under the law, the law of God. So, dilemma. Being a woman, a man with a womb created from his rib, Genetic engineering, or did Adam forget who his mother was? Maybe she died in childbirth. Maybe she was denied because she was a woman. We don't know, we don't hear of her. Perhaps a life sacrificed for a life. Something women do, sacrifice their lives and needs for others in the greater circle of life that is fast becoming a triple six of selfish indulgence. Respect and elders forgotten. Children lost in screens and farmed out whilst mum sits in an office as well as dad to pay the overpriced mortgage for a right for somewhere to live. Aching, dreaming and wishing she was home with her children, playing with dough, showing them how to make bread whilst making shapes and squidging the dough through a sieve to make spaghetti worms, hair to cut whilst the dough rises. Something for her and her children to experience and laugh and play with whilst they make and bake the bread. 
instead now. She shops online and the bread is delivered in a plastic bag, in a plastic bag, with another plastic bag, with other plastic bags. She feels guilt as she puts more plastic in the bin and worries about global warming, plastic pollution and the sea life. The seals and whales and birds dying with plastic foods in their stomachs. She fears the phallics. She tidies the house again and cleans the lavatory again before going to work again. Stuck in a traffic jam again, wondering will her boy be a boy or her girl or her girl be a boy. Sometimes she cries because she cares and sometimes she cries because she is so tired. So tired, so tired. So tired, too tired. Exhausted. And getting out these days. <clears throat> so, partition is um, it's about separation and emotional disconnection from the mother love. We must protect the child's innocence. So partition, a pattern set at birth. Separation, the done thing for the so-called rich and well-to-do. Boys from age seven, only seven years old, age seven. Sent away to mansions with grounds, prime education centers, educational experiences bought and thought to make the man toughen up the boy, sorry, and thought to make the man toughen up the boy, man up. No room for mummy's boys here. Dormitories where whips and fags set a pattern, devastating abusive depression patterns, dividing brain hemispheres as far as the north and south poles, poles divided into two. The mother's nurturance devalued and denied, affecting both mother and child. Her separation, money, oh, her separation, <laughs> I can't read it, it's flickering in the wind. <laughs> oh, dear. The mother's nurturance devalued and denied, affecting both the mother and child. Her separation anxiety medicated, sedated, as if sedation can remove God's provision of the natural instinct to love. Their oxytocin, their connecting biochemistry confused by wet nurses and nannies, emotional intelligence retarded with love denied, learning diverted, sometimes perverted, love is not a cortisol. Being taught there is evil in the world. <laughs> we must, I can't read it, we must be strong, not weak. Fight the evil in this world, divide and conquer, to own and rule because then we cannot be bullied nor beaten anymore. We are not weak. We are strong. We will fight the enemy back. We must take control to make safe from the enemies. We must not show weakness. We will not show weakness. Gentleness, meekness and trust absent in the curriculum, though manners make us man upheld. We must not be weak and fearful. We must be strong, man up. We will be brave men who will travel and conquer the world, protect our little boy fears and onto the uncivilised primitive savages we find on expedition travels funded by Daddy. A wealth of resources to mine and capture, to reap, rape and take, to use and abuse. Never mind their peaceful and prosperous ways, their respectful face practised, nurturance of their land, families and tribes, freedoms. Yes, others have differences, differences you fear as the bully, as the bully who may be raped and savaged you. Different people because they have different skin, clothes and material things and you think you are superior because you have been educated superior by the Endless Family Trust Fund. But I, Francis, ask you, the original Lieben, are you the original Liebensborn children? disconnected and isolated children 
causing frontal cortex brain malfunction causing carnage still causing carnage because children taken as eggs from their nest get scrambled neurological scrambling in cold parted quivering pulps jellied like eels with no legs to stand upon except social and financial status. Quivering with anxieties inside, drinking to quell the quivers, false courage and bravado awaiting the time to revenge the bully so the inner child can never be in the position of victim again the defensive man protecting himself, the world full of primitive savages and educating psychosis, psychologically deviant denial and necessity as weakness in the death penalty contrary to faith. Rugby, cricket, battleships, monopoly and toy soldiers. Great escapes to be continued and after school activities. Peaceful endeavours to fight the enemy because distorted minds are the weapons that deal the pain. Distorted minds were the hands that fed the pain and could not be bitten at that time. And so Naftali prevails. The wrestling of the mind between good and bad, right and wrong, continue while still on the quest for, for minerals and treasures, jasper, sapphires, emeralds, topaz, Amethyst, and yet the Chalstoni is elusive. The Chalstoni happiness of love and trust with peace, lost. For the true treasure is only in God's kingdom of love. Made whole and one in us, and the Holy Grail starts with the love of a mother and their child, which starts with the love of a man for his woman, and the woman's love for her man and the mother's love for her child, whatever the skin color. <clears throat> so I just question a lot of people who are in power, ruling our world, where their love is of money, more than the family, more than the people, more than the children. Where does that originate from? And perhaps they don't have that love to be able to create it. Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> so taken for granted by those who have a mother and saddened for those who don't have a mother. For who else in this world gives love and nurturance like a mother does? How special the mother and child. How honourable the mother and child where protective feelings merge with endless love. Who else is there for you when the world is being harsh, when love is waning? Yet those without mothers have no one except God, no one to turn to in times of need, times of hurt, times of loneliness and despair, the depths of which only those without a mother would know. The mother love, perhaps the mirror of God's love, a mother's love unites, a husband love supports and protects. God's love makes perfect for love. Without love, how can love survive? Without love, how can faith exist? That is what God's love is about. Connection, connecting, communicating. Love unites all people, where two become one and three. Lovers become mum and dad, families. What a miracle to treasure a new life. What a miracle any life is, and what gift the mammal. Mammary glands connecting mother and child. Feeding, nourishing, loving. How special our mummy. How special our mummy, mum. To honour our mum and dad and Heavenly Father for one. 
So I got that wrong. Her special uh, mammy. Her special uh, mammy, ma'am. Um, and uh, yeah, our mum's meant to be a mum's greatest gift to a woman. It's what we're designed for. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we have uh, equality and we have feminism, but we, we must remember that we're a woman and women are designed and made to be mums. And may God's love heal this world that's become extremely confused and divided. A happy Mother's Day on this International Women's Day, which is also my mum's birthday. I adopted mum. And uh, I've had and lost mums. 